quick backlash from San Jose City officials after racist text messages emerged involving one of their now former officers. In a statement Friday, San Jose Police Chief Anthony Mata said his department's internal affairs unit was investigating Mark McNamara for another incident when they discovered the messages. This is why we have a zero tolerance policy. San Jose Mayor Matt Mahan says he was disgusted by around two dozen text messages attributed to McNamara. The text seemingly referenced a 2022 incident in which the then officer McNamara shot football player Kayon Green at San Jose's La Victoria Taqueria. Video showed Green had appeared to have broken up a fight inside the restaurant and was backing out of a door holding a gun he had confiscated from one of the perpetrators. In some of the texts, McNamara saying things like, quote, I'm pretty sure the district attorney would have charged me if I used excessive force, but she didn't because I didn't use excessive force. I'll shoot you too. In others, McNamara describing African-American men and writing, quote, they should all be bowing to me and bringing me gifts. Otherwise, he would have lived a life of poverty and crime. In another text message, McNamara writing that he hated black people. It's how long does the canary have to keep telling you there's something wrong inside this function? Reverend Jethro Moore II is the president of the NAACP of San Jose in Silicon Valley. He says while he applauds the police department for acting quickly, the incident is another blow to the relationship between SJPD and the African-American community. It's an ongoing problem in police departments across America. And San Jose Police Department is indicative of that. Mayor Mahan says the city has been working hard to have mechanisms in place to identify and weed out problematic officers like McNamara. The way that we build trust and rebuild the trust that, frankly, this individual has cost our city is by being completely transparent and taking the swiftest possible action we can. Despite that, though, Mahan says he recognizes more work still needs to be done. We are not going to tolerate racism. We're going to continue working hard every day to build a culture of the utmost respect and professionalism within our department. Now, Green's lawyer has not publicly commented on these allegations. And remember, this isn't the first racist text message scandal to emerge here in the Bay Area. There were also similar instances in Antioch, San Francisco, and at the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office as well. In the newsroom, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News. And each one very.